um, within a few minutes I was able to feel the difference. Nothing compares to the quality of product I receive at Medicaid 08. If your pain doesn't go away in 20 minutes, you'll get your money back. Visit us today at one of our two convenient locations. We always wanted to move into our own home. It took us a couple of years finding some place that was perfect for us. And we were just like, okay, how can we afford something like that? Angela helped us understand the process bit by bit. Treated us like family. That relationship was more than a financial transaction. That was the difference between the other places and Hawaii State Federal Credit Union. Oh, my goodness. This is our superhero. <laughs> Southern Turf Hawaii has you covered. Whether you're looking for sod to enhance a lawn or a golf course, the landscaping experts at Southern Turf Hawaii will help you choose the right variety of grass for your specific needs. For nearly 20 years, Southern Turf Hawaii has been supplying sod for residential, commercial, retail, and golf course applications. So you can trust Southern Turf to help you get it right. Southern Turf Hawaii, the Hawaii Turf Experts. Hawaii sell storage. Find on the lalo inana inua. Oh, Hawaii sell storage. Box them, pack them, store them, lock them inua. Heli lolo ti, heli lolo ti. Heli lolo le, heli lolo le, heli lolo le, heli lolo le. Heli lolo ti, heli lolo le, heli lolo le, heli lolo le, heli lolo le. You know, you don't need to wait on the sun to say good morning, Hawaii. Lots of people are up before dawn, and we are too. Join Good Morning Hawaii weekdays at 4.30 in the morning to get an early start on everything you need for your day. From KITV4, Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Coming up on Good Morning Hawaii, today marks two weeks since construction was supposed to begin on t uh, the TMT project on Mauna Kea. As demonstrators continue, uh, the project leaders say they're still planning to push forward. Plus, the search is on for Kihara Henry, a missing woman from Maui. She's been gone missing for more than a week now. The same team that successfully found Amanda Eller springing into action. And slowly but surely, we've been hearing a lot about this one. The Poly Highway is still not open just yet, but they are going to be expanding their hours. We'll break it all down for you coming right up. Good morning, Hawaii. Happy Monday. It's July 29th. That's right. We'll send it over to our Teja Worley with a look at today's weather and traffic. Teja, how's it all shaping up today? Trade winds are kicking off the beginning of this week. We do have those typical trade wind patterns filling on in with easterly winds about 10 to 20 miles per hour. That's going to focus our showers over windward and mountain spots. Winds right now within the double digits for Lihue. We're seeing up and down uh, up and down mile per hour winds that is going into the windward areas so that's of course bringing along those showers we are still within the upper 70s so still looking good with our temperatures expected highs around 91 for Kahului 89 for the leeward side of our Oahu now our satellite is picking up our winds coming in from the east to so trade showers riding along those winds and more activity for our Hawaii Island we'll get to that but first we'll start off with our Kauai we do have some instability around Kauai just expect some passing showers on and off throughout the day if you love showers, then good for you. We actually have that most, most for the south point of our Kauai. That's going to continue and then clear up by the afternoon, especially for the leeward sides. Mostly sunny from Oahu through Maui County. Just a few very light trade showers rolling in over the Ko'olau's. We do have some isolated showers over the mountain spots over the leeward sides as well. Breezier and sunny throughout Maui County. Hawaii Island, we have a lot of instability, especially for the eastern half of the island. Bands of moisture will continue throughout the day, and then it will refocus over your leeward top and that's by the afternoon partly cloudy conditions so for the east two to four up to three for the south and up to two for the north and west we do have high tide around 245 today at 2.4 feet so just a heads up with that we're also just bringing you the latest update within the eastern Pacific. Still a tropical storm. Tropical storm Eric with sustained winds at 70 miles per hour. It is moving west a bit quicker now at 17 miles per hour. Now less than 1,300 miles away or east southeast of our Hilo, Hawaii. So we will continue to see the track that is just right below the state, but we'll bring you the updated track on that. And also the next update is 11 o'clock. So I'll have that on Facebook Live throughout the day as well. Now here's a look at your traffic. 
Still no major accidents this morning, but if you're heading to the airport, just a heads up, you might want to plan some extra time because 8.30 to 1, there will be alternating lane closures at the off-ramp coming off the H1 westbound direction. So just a heads up again, 8.30 to 1. We did have a stalled vehicle that was pulled off to the side after manager's drive. That has just been cleared up. We do have the zipper lane open through Waiava. No major accidents or stalls coming in from the east side. Public country flow is now open. And your drive time's up on your screen from the east side to town, 18 minutes. 71 from what and I through Honolulu and Eva Beach through town 30 minutes back to the desk Well time now 503 and over on Hawaii Island demonstrators say they've reached an agreement with the state that would allow some native Hawaiian practitioners to visit the top of the mountain each day now, under that agreement, spokesman Kaokai Kanuha says they would allow all the technicians at existing telescopes to go up the mountain each day, that is, if the demonstrators are also allowed to take one vehicle up with them each day. He says the state previously turned down that proposal, but it has been since accepted. So from here on out, those who wish to perform maintenance on the telescopes will have unobstructed access to the Mauna. We have made an agreement. They will give us the name of the telescope and the amount of the individuals going up to the mountain. Now, Hawaii County is handling communication for the state on the TMT project, but they were unable to confirm that deal. And in a letter to the Star Advertiser, TMT International Observatory Executive Director Ed Stone and others said polls show that the majority of Native Hawaiians support the construction of TMT on Mount Akea. It also showed that most residents think science and culture can coexist on Mount Akea. They said, quote, we are dismayed by the many false accusations being spread, and we are dismayed that TMT supporters are being shown such great disrespect that uh, some have become afraid to speak publicly. We have a lot of supporters in Hawaii, and they are asking us not to leave. They also said that TMT is the larger symbol of political issues for Hawaiians and, quote, whether or not TMT is built in Hawaii will not bring closure to it, end quote. Yeah, we have been following this since day one. KITV has been tracking this since opponents first gathered on Mauna Kea, as we mentioned just two weeks ago. And we'll continue to cover this story as it develops. You can find all the background information that we've covered. That's on our website at KITV.com and, of course, across social media. Well, the search is on for a missing woman on Maui for a week now. Yeah, I spoke with Kiara Henry's family members who are now in a race against time. You know, we love her, you know, and it's like, without her, it's like another missing puzzle piece out of our family. For Theodra Hammond, that missing puzzle piece is her sister, Kiara Henry. She's been missing for a week now, but for her family, that mystery began weeks ago. They say Kiara talked about a trip to Hawaii from San Diego with her brother, but then came by herself. They're supposed to travel together, same flight, everything, and she just left without him, without even telling my mom, me, my dad, no one. They didn't even know she was in Hawaii until her cell phone pinged to Oahu. It wasn't until later that they found that she went to Maui renting a car on the 21st and then driving it to Wainapanapa Park near Hana. The car was found there the next day after it was supposed to be returned. It had all her belongings still inside except for her phone and her keys. My main concern is, you know, she's 23, she's young, she's like, you know, very petite, you know, and she, and it happened out of this, the, the at a beach where they found the car you know i'm just worried maybe she was hiking slipped and fell hurt herself those concerns are reminding many of amanda eller's ordeal before she was rescued on maui but unlike where amanda's search was hana has limited cell service and it's more isolated making it more of a challenge but still the same groups that found amanda are now springing into action once again you know we're gonna we're gonna try to go full swing with it just like we did with amanda it, it, it took everybody wanting this to happen so badly for it to happen and so we're really going to count on that again with our community out here a community and a family hoping amanda's happy ending will be the same for kiara that's our main concern we just want to hear her voice and know she's okay yeah, and it's uh, definitely you know frustrating seeing that happen again on maui so close after amanda eller but they said they learned a lot of lessons from that so you know they're ready to kind of or, you know, rally the troops and hopefully uh, find the, this next search uh, even more successful as well. Yeah, so Best of luck to her and her family and hope for, hope for a safe return. All right, well, if your morning commute takes you through Makiki, plan ahead for some stop-and-go traffic today. 
Yeah, Hawaiian Electric will be working on some upgrades that will impact drivers on Mott Smith Drive. KITV4's Mackenzie Sasko live there this morning, tracking it all with more on when they start and how long they'll last. Uh, break it all down for us, Mackenzie. Yeah, Tom, as you mentioned, HECO will be installing and upgrading some of its underground equipment here along Mott Smith Drive in Makiki. That's starting today, and it's a nine-week project. As you mentioned, it will impact traffic starting today at 830. That's when HECO will begin these upgrades. That's when they'll also have to begin contraflowing traffic between Luna Place and Nehoa Street. As we mentioned, they'll be working on installing this equipment for the next nine weeks, Monday through Friday from 8 30 in the morning until 3 30 in the afternoon things shouldn't be too bad because right now school is out but uh, it is expected to start up in just a few weeks so again that new equipment will take about nine weeks to install so when school picks up next month that's when things in this area make it a little more congested and if this is part of your morning commute just make sure to give yourself some extra time and prepare for that stop and go traffic police will be on scene helping contra flow traffic as well. For now, we'll send it back to you inside. All right, Mackenzie, tracking it all. Thank you. And another heads up for drivers, this time on the windward side. We've been talking about this one for a long time. The Poly Highway access hours will now be extended on Thursday. That's right. Those new hours will be Sundays through Fridays, and the Honolulu bound AM Contra Flow will be open from 5 to 1130 in the morning, while the Kailua Kaneohe bound traffic will be open from 1230 in the afternoon to 7 in the evening. Now that's a couple hours later for your morning drive and a couple hours earlier in the afternoon. So you get a little bit of extra time. The highway will remain closed on Saturday and state holidays. A lot of people have been waiting a long time for that to reopen now. That's true. That's right. So good luck and uh, best of best commuting hours to you <laughs> in the morning. Well, coming up is uh, the remembering of the silent heroes of World War II. Yeah, it's all part of a program to teach students about history. And this is the first time it's coming to Hawaii. It's all coming up next in your morning shakas on your Monday. Don't go away. Good morning, Hawaii. We'll be right back. Time now, 510. Lucette in Honolulu saved over $450. Call 92 Dietrich and save. So you're ready to buy a new car. You know what you want, but not where to get it. You could start by going here, then here, and even here. But by then, the entire day's nearly gone. Or you can save time and go straight to Hawaii's Auto Mall in Waipio and compare hundreds of vehicles in one location. Think of all the time you'll save. Time you can spend enjoying your new car rather than shopping for it. Get your next car at the Tony Group Autoplex YPO and experience the difference. Personal injury is what we do. We're going to take care of everything. Our promise to you is that we'll be in the recovery with you. Got a chip or star crack in your windshield and it's safety check time? Repair your windshield before you go. Your chip repair may even be free, depending on your insurance. Book now. Free quote at aceautoglass.net or call us. One of my biggest things is getting solar on my property and Haleakala was the first option for sure and electricity has gone down 10 to $20 a month. By installing the system on our house, both the PV and the hot water, we save about $250 a month and the system already paid itself off. Any home that has solar, when you, when you either go rent it or go sell it, it's very beneficial to the owner. I mean, I've already recommended it to my neighbors, so they're thinking about doing it too. Electric bills at that time were anywhere from $160 to $250 a month. The company locally takes a real interest, I think, in their people and their customers. And I thought that was something that really surprised me. That's right. Bundle and save with an instant 5% discount off solar, a new roof, energy storage, or a solar water heating system. Bundle any home improvement projects and save up to 10% off. Plus, take advantage of zero down 24 months, same as cash financing. Just call 808-419-3586. That's 808-419-3586. Five twelve on this Monday. We're taking a look at your surf forecasts for the east, two to four, up to three for the south. 
calmer conditions for the north and the west. Now, we do have those trade winds, moderate to breezy, typical trade wind pattern for today. Small craft advisory on the Maui County side all the way throughout Hawaii Island, and that's due to a bit breezier conditions is what we'll continue to get. And as you can see, our hourly forecast, it is shifting just a bit. We do have some spotty showers for the windward side of our Kauai. But we're not expecting much. Most of those partly cloudy conditions will stick to the mountain tops. Northeasterly winds will be pretty consistent from 10 to 15 miles per hour. Sunnier conditions throughout Oahu with temperatures actually looking pretty good, right below 88. Easterly winds filling in even a bit more strong throughout your lunchtime. Very sunny throughout Maui County. We're getting some windward showers this morning. That's expected to clear up. Most of the instability is for Hawaii Island this morning, Hilo, Hawaii, and then some leeward cloud coverage in the afternoon. Friday, we're picking up an increase of shower activity, and that's due to Tropical Storm Eric. Again, this is the latest update, your 5 o'clock update. We're expecting it to move toward the west-northwest by Tuesday and also slow down just a bit after Wednesday. So picking up speed as it does pass over warmer waters and then continue to downgrade just a bit. And as you can see, still within the cone of uncertainty, highlighting Hawaii Island. So we'll keep a close eye on that. Right now, we are tracking surf to roll in because of it, winds and a lot of moisture giving us heavy showers, possible with thunderstorms Friday into the weekend. So we'll plan for that, but here's a look at your traffic. Clear conditions, no major accidents or stalls. When Malu through Aea, the shoulder will be taken out from 9 to 7 today. There are reports of an accident. This is in Kalihi at North King Street and Middle Street. I'm not seeing anything up on our on our drive maps, but I'll continue to try and find some updates for you and give that to you. And the good news is Zipper Lane is now open all the way through Waikele. Over to you. All right, well, you know, you know what that sound is. Time for some morning shakas on your Monday. And this weekend, 20 students from Hawaii and the mainland gathered at the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific at Punchbowl to eulogize the silent heroes of World War II. That's right, and those heroes do include former U.S. Senator Dan Inouye. Now, it's part of a six-month program by the Sacrifice for Freedom Institute, which teaches students about history. It was previously held in Normandy, France, and this is the first time the program has come to Hawaii. And hard to believe it, but school starts in just one week, and the kids at Waipahu Intermediate will return to an updated campus. Check that out. Volunteers from First Insurance Company of Hawaii helped give it a little bit of a facelift yesterday. They did some light repainting around the parking lot. Look, looks as good as new there as they head back to school. Hard to believe it's already time to go back. That's so true. Well, good for the Waipahu students and the beautification project. For sure. Well, coming up, we all know how important it is to recycle, right? And we know plastic can be used for all kinds of different things. But after the break, see how one person's trash is a way to help kids with disabilities getting prosthetic limbs. We'll have that story coming up. Stay with us. Good morning, Hawaii. We'll be right back. Step Ahead is Hawaii's premier foot store. Our exclusive orthotic inserts relieve pressure off the heels and forefoot almost immediately, allowing you to get back to doing the things you love, no matter your occupation or hobby. If you have foot pain, we can help. We also have a wide variety of support shoes, sandals, and slippers that will help you get the relief you need while keeping you looking stylish. Call today to schedule an appointment or stop by one of our three convenient locations. My cholesterol was going up, my blood pressures were going up, and my weight was going up, and I didn't know what to do. But my doctor said to consider the Akahi Ornish program. And after the nine weeks, my weight was down. Now a total of 45 pounds. My blood pressures are normal, and my cholesterol is still normal. I feel better than I have in 20 years. <laughs> So, what's the end thing? An exit thing. Rediscover Hawaii's original all day breakfast and things at Exit Things. So, what's the end thing? An exit thing. Rediscover Hawaii's original all day breakfast and things at Exit Things. Right now is the best time to start planning for your future. Whether you're looking ahead to secure your goals with one-on-one -on -one guidance for setting up investments that work for you. 
or taking steps to protect your family with life insurance. And then there's planning for retirement so you can enjoy the things you love with peace of mind. We'll help you meet your goals through life stages. Be ready for what's next with Hamada Financial Group. Contact us today to set a plan for your future. You know, you don't need to wait on the sun to say good morning, Hawaii. Lots of people are up before dawn, and we are too. Join Good Morning Hawaii weekdays at 4.30 in the morning to get an early start on everything you need for your day. GMA this week. Dwayne Johnson, Idris Elba. And if that's not enough for you, how about three epic Bachelorette mornings and Hannah B. herself, live and exclusive after the biggest night of her life. Good morning, America. Plus, Pitbull's here too. 518. We've got trade showers focused over our windward areas, a bit more enhanced for our Hawaii Island, Puna through Ka'u. Other than that, trade winds today, that typical trade wind pattern giving us those showers for the morning, and then sunny conditions by the afternoon. Kauai will get some spotty showers on and off throughout the day for the windward areas, and temperatures just shy of 90 for the west side, east side around your middle 80s. Now for Oahu, we are seeing more sunshine, very light trade showers, a focus over windward and mountain spots, heavier pots of heavier pockets of showers for the northern area for this morning. That will quickly clear up. Humid levels nice and down for today. Maui County a bit breezier. We do have another 90 degree day is what we are expecting for the central part of Maui. And again with those breezier conditions a small craft advisory from Maui County's waters all the way throughout Hawaii Island. So that's wind speeds up to 25 knots. And we do also have uh, seas 5 to 8 feet. Now, Hilo, Hawaii will see passing showers and partly cloudy conditions throughout the day and trade winds. Kailua Kona side, southwesterly winds, that's going to feel a bit warmer. Leeward sides could get a few isolated cloud coverage in the afternoon. If you're going hiking, beautiful mountain ridge, a picture here just above Haula, so mahalo, Paul, for that. We will see some breezier conditions today. Not too breezy, so hiking is perfect for today. Lots of sunshine. Woodward areas will be a bit damp for this morning, clearing up throughout the afternoon. Or surf, we have calm conditions out on the surf, flat to 2 for the north and west, east to 4, 1 to 3 for the south. Keep in mind, high tide around 2.45. In hat shower activity, more so for your Friday, that is associated with tropical storm Eric. But until then, sunny and breezy. Now here's a look outside on the roads. In Moanalua, we do have shoulder lane closures from the freeway in the westbound direction. This is between Fort Shafter off-ramp and Ahua Street overpass 7 to 3.30 today. Some touch and go traffic as you are heading in from Moanalua right by Red Hill. Other than that, still moving at a nice comfortable pace. We've got that zipper lane open now all the way through. We had a pulled a, a stalled vehicle pulled off to the left shoulder that has also just moved out of the way h1h2 merge is clear all the way into town alternate route on kamehameha highway is also nice and light poly contra flow is open we do have some slick roads coming in over the poly so just a heads up for that east side drive less than 20 minutes into town the drive times are up on your screen we'll be right back In today's Tech Bytes, Apple is gearing up to roll out 5G. Reports say all three iPhones set to come out next year will work with the technology, which is said to be 100 times faster than the current 4G network. Apple is reportedly making the move in order to compete with lower-cost 5G Android smartphones. And some new entertainment options are coming to Tesla's. Company boss Elon Musk says his pricey vehicles will soon be able to stream Netflix and YouTube on their displays. Just like video games, drivers will only be able to stream video when the car is parked. A 16-year-old from Pennsylvania is taking home a whopping $3 million prize for winning the first ever Fortnite World Cup. Kyle Gristorf was the best of 40 million players with the top 100 battling it out in New York. It's the largest ever payout for a single player in an eSports tournament. Nicely done. Those are your Tech Bites. I'm Phil Mickelson. That's me, long before I had psoriatic arthritis. I've always been a go-getter and kind of competitive. 
Flash forward, then psoriatic arthritis started getting the better of me. And my doctor said my joint pain could mean permanent joint damage. And Embril helps relieve joint pain, helps stop that joint damage, plus helps skin get clear. Ask about Embril so you can get back to being your true self. Embril may lower your ability to fight infections, serious, sometimes fatal events, including infections, tuberculosis, lymphoma, other cancers, nervous system and blood disorders, and allergic reactions have occurred. Tell your doctor if you've been someplace where fungal infections are common, or if you're prone to infections, have cuts or sores, have had hepatitis B, have been treated for heart failure, or if you have persistent fever, bruising, bleeding, or paleness. Don't start Embril if you have an infection like the flu. Nice. Visit Embril.com to see how your joint damage could progress. Embril, FDA approved for over 17 years. The Queens Medical Center, Hawaii's health care leader for 160 years. In 1859, King Kamehameha IV and Queen Emma were inspired to build a hospital for the sick. Today, Queens has expanded to meet the growing needs of Hawaii, offering comprehensive heart care, advanced neurological services, a world-renowned cancer center, and Hawaii's only level one trauma center. Caring for our community, the royal legacy continues. The Queens Medical Center, celebrating 160 years. Well, I heard Marcus Mariota can throw football into the clouds. Well, I heard Marcus Mariota doesn't just help old ladies cross the street. He carries them two at a time. That's ridiculous. Well, I heard Marcus Mariota goes to First Hawaiian Bank. Look! It's the Honda Summer Spectacular event. That means more euphoric feelings that come from getting a great deal on a Honda CRV or HRV. Or from getting a pilot or passport. All part of 2019's best SUV brand. Hurry in today and experience the joy for yourself. Get a new Honda Passport, named best in class by Car and Driver at the Honda Summer Spectacular event. It's had this thingy. Now it has that. But with Spectrum, smart homes aren't stopping there because they'll have all this amazing. Yeah, okay. Soon our homes will have this and that. You get the idea. That's why Spectrum's secure fiber powered network is ready with the privacy you demand and the bandwidth you need, no matter how smart our homes may become. I too am hungry. But some things will never change. Spectrum, think forward. We always wanted to move into our own home. It took us a couple of years finding some place that was perfect for us. And we were just like, okay, how can we afford something like that? Angela helped us understand the process bit by bit, treated us like family. That relationship was more than a financial transaction. That was the difference between the other places and Hawaii State Federal Credit Union. Oh my goodness! This is our superhero. <laughs> This is Good Morning Hawaii. Welcome back. Happy Monday. Time now 526. Well, many countries around the world have systems to recycle bottles, right? But most often, those bottle caps just end up in landfills. That's true. But in Australia, however, one social enterprise has come up with a unique way to use discarded pieces of plastic. Just take a look at this. These prosthetic limbs make a big difference to the lives of children in Australia with disabilities. Now these are children and they come in all shapes and sizes and can be designed to exacting specifications and you'll never guess what they're made from. The ground down lids and caps of discarded plastic bottles are used to make the limbs. They're designed using 3D printed technology. Such a great thing for them. It's psychological, you know, not just a matter of how practical it is. Their family just over the moon, and it's just a fantastic feel for everyone. Really cool idea, and since this social enterprise started nearly two years ago, it's used more than a million bottle caps. Tier also says the company collects the caps at more than a dozen locations across Australia. Some of those look pretty cool, too. I feel like they're probably going to be like the coolest kids in their class showing up with those... Uh prosthetic limbs, all the different colors and shapes. It gives yeah. a whole new term to the term, reuse, recycle. So love to see that. Yeah, so recycle all your stuff. Yeah. 
All right, and time now is 527 and still ahead. Your top morning headlines are coming up. First, we're taking a live look outside over at Hawaii Island from our camera at the Hilo Hawaiian Hotel. As the sun comes up on your Monday, don't go away. Good morning, Hawaii. We'll be right back. Time now, 527. Stay with us. Breezeway proudly introduces the Stronghold system, which has been designed to make louvers stronger, safer, and more secure. Locally made in Hawaii, the Stronghold is tested to withstand a load of 150 pounds. Give us a call at 484-5999 or visit breezeway.com. It's the Miller Lite Taste All Right Pauhana Series. Heat up your next Pauhana with Foodland. Nothing makes Pauhana at home better than Ono Food and Ohana. And Foodland has everything you'll need. Fresh poke, fried chicken, premium choice meats, and so much more. Stop by any one of their 33 locations statewide. And don't forget the Miller Lite Pauhana. Taken to a whole new level with Foodland. Check it out on KITV.com slash Pauhana. BIA Hawaii's big summer home building and remodeling show at the Blaisdell, August 9th through 11th. Hawaii's most trusted contractors and designers are ready to help you with your next home project, whether you're building new or remodeling. Hundreds of exhibits and seminars that will inspire and inform. Senior admission Sunday is just $2 with valid ID, and a three-day pass offers great savings at just $10. The big summer home building and remodeling show, August 9th through 11th. More information at BIAHawaii.org. Is your Sears battery dead or dying and warranty expiring? Oh, don't worry. We got you. Lux Brodies will honor Sears battery warranties and service all Sears bought tires for free, combining over 55 years of award-winning experience on Oahu with world-class customer service. Lux Brodies makes your car care experience easy. Need a fix forever brake repair warranty? Need a free Uber ride to the mall? Need answers and solutions to your automotive needs? We got you. Please visit LexBrodies.com for details. And thank you very much. Getting quality food for your best friend just got easier. Hawaii Feed is your locally owned and operated pet food warehouse where you can order online. Simply go to hawaiifeed.biz and order your pet's favorite food online. Your order will be ready for pickup within 24 hours at our convenient centrally located warehouse in Waipio. Choose top quality food for your dog, fish, small animal, or bird from Hawaii's top brands. Go to hawaiifeed.biz and order your pet food today. Now, from KITV4, Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Right now on Good Morning Hawaii, a key figure in the TMT controversy, a controversy plays a visit to Mauna Kea to better understand the issue. A deadly shooting at a food festival over the weekend. Good morning, I'm Megan Tabrizian in New York. We'll have the latest on that coming up. And the racist tweet fallout continues at the national level as the president doubles down on his attack against a Maryland congressman. Well, good morning. Welcome back to Good Morning Hawaii. Time now is 5.30. Yeah, happy Monday. Want to start with your weather and your traffic. I know you're keeping an eye out to those uh, storms brewing in the Pacific, right? That's right. The next update is at 11, so I'll go Facebook Live for that as well. But taking a look right now, currently across the state, showers more so just for our Hawaii Island over on the east side, as well as our windward areas. And that's typical with that trade wind pattern. Temperatures right now in Honolulu at 78. The winds are helping keep our humidity levels down. Winds are planned to stick around for the remaining of the week, ramp up even more so as Tropical Storm Eric continues to pass toward the south. Now our satellite and radar is picking up a lot of showers for Hawaii Islands from the windward areas, uh, Kauthurpuna as well, and Kauai getting some spotty showers as well for the windward areas, expected to clear up throughout the day more so by the afternoon, but just expect those those passing showers to continue all the way throughout lunchtime. Temperatures will remain in the middle to lower 80s. Now for our Oahu, we are seeing clearer conditions for the leeward and central spots. Very light showers over the Ko'olaus. We'll see sunny conditions all day with temperatures just shy of 90. Easterly winds even more so afternoon into this evening. It's going to help with tonight's lows which we are expecting to average around 78, so definitely going to be another warm one. Temperatures expected within the 90s again for your central areas of our Maui County. And Hawaii Island on and off showers from the east to southeast, and then the leeward sides, isolated cloud coverage by the afternoon. 
Surf for the east, 2 to 4, 1 to 3 for the south. The flat to 2 for the north and west with high tide around 245 today. We do have that small craft advisory for Maui County throughout Hawaii Island at least into Tuesday. But as you can see, it's pretty stable, coming in about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Those showers actually enhance more so Friday through Sunday. That's going to start off Hawaii Island and move its way up the island chain. And here's a look at your traffic. Clear conditions coming in through Waikele. No major accidents, so just this stall pulled off to the shoulder after Manager's Drive overpass. But clear as you do make your way closer into town. H1, H2 merge, just some brake lights, but nothing major. Clear all the way throughout Ka'ahumanu and Ia. Want a little freeway or the viaduct clear into your town spots, middle, Dillingham, as well as Nimitz. And we are looking at your drive times coming in from the east side, less than 17 minutes, 70 minutes from Waianae through town, and 30 minutes from Eva Beach through Honolulu. Over to you. Fitasia time now is 5.33 and now to the developing story in California where at least four people are dead and 15 others injured after a shooting at the Gilroy Garlic Festival. That's about 80 miles southeast of San Francisco and Megan Tavrizian has the very latest on this story. A fun weekend festival turning deadly Sunday. Some random dude just started shooting like he just pulled out a gun and we were just eating right there. It just started popping off like fireworks. It sounded like firecrackers. I, that's what I thought it was. I had no idea until he grabbed me and he started pulling me and telling me that's, that's gunfire. We need to get out of here, go, run. Authorities saying at least four people are dead, including the suspect. Many more were injured. He just like shoot once and then he like stopped and then he just started shooting repeatedly. The shooting happened around 6 p.m. West Coast time. Right now adult and it's 20, wearing a uh, camel or green type scarf. Green a man opening fire while the band Vital Sound played on stage. One member telling our San Francisco station KGO he heard a pop and saw a shooter with what appeared to be an assault rifle. He was just firing into the biggest bunch of people he could find. I was just going, holy crap. Authorities saying the suspect gained access to the festival from a creek using some sort of tool to cut through a fence. The suspect shot down by Gilroy police, but authorities believe there could be an accomplice. This morning, the community of roughly 50,000 people in disbelief. To have seen this event end this way this day is um, just one of the most tragic and sad things that I've ever had to see. It's just a horrible thing to experience. Still have little details about the suspect and the motive and that possible second suspect. Authorities say there were metal detectors and added security at the festival. Megan Tavrizian, ABC News, New York. And in other news, Dan Coats will step down as uh, National Intelligence Director on August 15th. President Trump announced the departure in a tweet yesterday saying, quote, I would like to thank Dan for his great service to our country. The acting director will be named shortly. But shortly before that, Trump tweeted that he will be nominating Texas Republican Congressman John Radcliffe to replace Coates as the director of national intelligence. This marks the most recent chapter in Trump's tense relationship with the U.S. intelligence community. Now, Democratic presidential candidate John Delaney putting forward a plan for a mandatory national service program for young people. And the former Maryland congressman says that he wants a program where it would be required for all high school graduates to participate in a service program. That plan will be phased in over time, but would provide up to three years of free college tuition. Other candidates have proposed service plans, but Delaney's is the first to require youth participation. And sticking with 2020, Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders went up to Canada with some type 1 diabetes patients who are che seeking cheaper insulin. Now, he made that trip yesterday to highlight what he says is the corruption of pharmaceutical companies. Sanders says in Canada, insulin is actually one-tenth of the price that it is here in the U.S. And he says there's strong evidence that there's price fixing going on here in the U.S. He also says if he's elected, his attorney general would use antitrust legislation to take on the pharmaceutical companies. We're now taking a live look at the White House this morning where the fallout continues over President Trump's multiple attacks on Congressman Elijah Cummings and the city of Baltimore. The president now denying that his criticism of the American African-American congressman was racist and accusing Democrats of playing the race card. Mary Bruce is on Capitol Hill with more. 
In more than a dozen tweets over the weekend, the president disparaging Congressman Elijah Cummings, calling his majority black district around Baltimore, Maryland, a disgusting rat and rodent infested mess where no human being would want to live, using the hashtag Blacks for Trump 2020. The condemnation from Democrats, swift. Well, the president is, as he usually is or often is, disgusting and racist. The racist president who attacks people because they are African Americans. The president's Twitter offensive comes after Cummings grilled Trump's acting Homeland Security Secretary about conditions along the border. Come on, man. What's that about? None of us would have our children in that position. They are human beings. It's the second time in two weeks that Trump has come under fire for racial attacks against members of Congress. But now Trump insists Democrats are the ones playing the race card, tweeting Cummings is racist. The president's chief of staff insists Trump's comments are appropriate. If I had poverty in my district like they have in Baltimore, I'd get fired. And I think the president is right to raise that. It has absolutely zero to do with race. Some Republicans are struggling to defend Trump, but they aren't condemning him either. To focus on an entire city, call it rat and rodent infested, you see no problem with that? Well, of, of, of course, he shouldn't, you know, I, I don't think they're going to in, invite him uh, to throw out a, the first pitch at a baseball game anytime soon. The Baltimore Sun publishing this scathing editorial. The headline, better to have a few rats than to be one. And some city natives like CNN anchor Victor Blackwell moved to tears. People get up and go to work there. They care for their families there. They love their children who pledge allegiance to the flag, just like people who live in districts of congressmen who support you, sir. They are Americans too. And as someone that grew up in Maryland, that was definitely a powerful moment seeing that on, on CNN, that anchor getting a tearful about that for sure well uh, if your if morning commute takes you through makiki plan for some stop and go traffic today and hawaiian electric will be working on upgrades that will impact drivers on mott smith drive kitv 4s mackenzie stas go live there this morning with more on when they start and how long they'll last good morning mackenzie well, Lindsay, Tom, good morning. HECO will begin installing underground equipment later this morning here along Mott Smith Drive. And as you mentioned, it will impact some traffic. Now, this is a nine-week project. Uh, and again, it will impact part of your morning commute. So starting at 8.30, HECO will have to contraflow traffic between Luna Place and Nahoa Street. Now, this is going to be the case from today through September 30th, Monday through Friday, from 8.30 in the morning until 3.30 in the afternoon. Things shouldn't be too bad over the next few weeks because school is out, but once school does start back up, uh, that is likely when traffic here in the morning will get more congested. So if this is part of your morning commute, just make sure you give yourself some extra time and be prepared for some stop and go traffic as HECO and HPD will be directing traffic. For now, we'll send it back to you inside. <laughs> Well, as we enter day 15 of the tension over TMT, a former state representative from Maui steps on into the controversy. Yeah, Kanyela Ng exchanging some strong words with the telescope supporter. And as KITV 4's Diana Co explains, that battle played out all over social media. An extreme viewpoint from a TMT supporter that former state rep Connie Ella Ng tweeted on Sunday. They're talking about protecting the mana. Yeah. What they're doing is protecting their second class status forever. If they want to be janitors and maids. That's a terrible choice they're making. The TMT supporter goes on to dismiss Mauna Kea's spiritual significance. So you're saying Mauna Kea is not sacred? No, I think it's a, it's a rock. But sacred is the pursuit of knowledge. Ng told KITV4 this was a racist comment, and he responded on Twitter with, Our movement is about stopping the TMT and moving beyond the sort of colonial white supremacist thinking. I know this hurts, but I post videos like this not to shame, but to shine light on the rooted racism we are up against. He also finds the silver lining in this movement. Then it really shows that uh, this isn't a negative movement. This is a positive movement to shine an example of a culture um, that respects Native rights and a science that's ethical and can exist at the same time as Indigenous people because our knowledge um, is just as important as knowledge gained from a telescope. Ng is also inspired by the little community that's developed on the mountain that leans towards signs of sovereignty. 
the Mauna is in a perfect society, of course. Uh, it relies on a lot of outside support and visible labor, but it does kind of show, it's like a microcosm of what could be. For Ng, protesting TMT is as much about starting something as it is stopping it. Diana Ko, KITV4 Island News. And we did ask TMT officials if they thought the supporter accurately represented their position, but have not yet heard back. But while demonstrators do continue to block the road on Mauna Kea, they've also taken time to talk with politicians, movie star supporters, and now the head of the University of Hawaii. And UH President David Lasner met with the demonstrators yesterday. The university is subleasing to TMT and is allowing it to build and operate the telescope atop the summit. Lasner did not take questions from the media. However, saying he came to talk with activists who call themselves protectors of the mountain. I came here because I wanted to see you. I wanted to feel your spirit. I wanted to witness for myself firsthand um, what is happening here. And Lasner also told the group that he wants to find a peaceful way to move forward. Activists spoke positively about his visit. Now, Kea TV4 has been following the tension over TMT ever since opponents first gathered on Mount Kea two weeks ago. We'll, of course, continue to cover this story as it unfolds. You can also find all the background information we've been covering on this. That's on our website at KITV.com and across our social media platforms. All right, time now, 544, still to come, calling all gamers because a 16-year-old waking up $3 million richer this morning. Yeah, how the popular online video game industry is making history and making kids rich. We'll be right back. Two tropical storms continue to develop in the eastern Pacific. We'll have the updates coming up right here on Good Morning Hawaii. Homeworld, from living room to bedrooms to dining, you'll find a world of possibilities to furnish your home in style. Ready, set, shop. At Homeworld, buy any in-stock item at our everyday low price. Have it delivered and get a cash discount. Or choose 24 months financing. No matter what you choose for your living room, dining room, bedroom, and more, if it's in stock and ready for immediate delivery, you'll get a cash discount. Or choose to finance your purchase for 24 months at Homeworld Furniture. Get ready, get set, let's shop. Hawaii cell storage. Bye, na 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 lo, na na inua. Oh, Hawaii cell storage. Box them, pack them, store them, lock them. Inua. Er ni lo lo ti, er ni lo lo ti. Er ni lo lo ti, er ni lo lo ti. Er ni lo lo ti, er ni lo lo ti. Yeah yo, er ni lo lo ti, er ni lo lo ti, er ni lo lo ti. Medicaid 08 is a Hawaii-based family-owned CBD store that specializes in pain relief, anxiety relief, and mood elevation. We offer a wide range of products from oils, capsules, topicals, edibles, flour, and pet treats. I was in excruciating pain. Um, within a few minutes, I was able to feel the difference. Nothing compares to the quality of products I receive at Medicaid 08. If your pain doesn't go away in 20 minutes, you'll get your money back. Visit us today at one of our two convenient locations. Grandma gave us her old couch. Uh-oh, found something. They're back. Call Environ Control. For everything you see, there's many others hiding. Environ Control has the solution. Click or call to schedule a free estimate today. Take back your home again. Environ Control. From the smallest cottage to the largest house on the block, Wisteria Lane has something for everyone. Transform your home with one of our wide selection of flooring, a luxurious look for the everyday homeowner, and with an unbeatable pricing. Visit Wisteria Lane today. saved over $390. Lucette in Honolulu saved over $450. Call 92 Dietrich and save. KITV4 Island News, sponsored by Dietrich Insurance. 
547 on this Monday, and the system that brought tornadoes to Minnesota now pushes east, targeting Chicago, St. Louis, and Detroit, and a new area of tropical development has eyes on Florida late this week. In the eastern Pacific, we're also continuing to track those two tropical storms. Tropical storm Flossie that does has maximum sustained winds at 50 miles per hour. It is moving quickly toward the west at 18 miles per hour. Just shy of that toward the west, tropical storm Eric, just about 1,300 miles east-southeast of our Hilo, Hawaii. It does has maximum sustained winds at 70 miles per hour. Continuing to move west, it is expected to move a little bit more toward the northwest by Tuesday. But as of right now, we can see our sea surface temperatures very warm in those areas. That's the reason why it's having more fuel to actually develop quite quickly. As that system, Tropical Storm Eric, continues to move toward the west, we'll get a bit of a, that update. We're expecting about a hurricane anytime soon. So the next update's at 11. And again, I'll be Facebook Live for that. Closer into home, we do have those trade winds, trade showers focused on windward and Malco areas. Tropical Storm Eric could give us an enhance of showers by Friday, winds and surf. Right now, we're picking up very light showers over the coal allows, nothing major for today. Hawaii Island is expected to get most of the rain for your east side and southeast, that's at least for your morning time. Sunshine elsewhere until your Thursday, and then that enhance of shower activity Friday through Sunday. Surf for today is also looking nice and calm. We are seeing two to four for the east, one to three for the south, flat to two for the north and west. Now here's a look outside of the roads. No major accidents or stalls, but we do have slowdowns out on the road. H1, H2 merge pretty much creeping up through Waimalu. Nothing on our drive maps popping up and actually picks up speed after Ka'ahumanu. Moanalua Freeway, we are seeing some clear conditions all the way through and the viaduct moderate traffic approaching your town spots. East Side Drive is nice and light on Kalani Anaole Highway and breezy. Slick roads coming in from your windward areas. Drive times are still pretty comfortable from the east 18 minutes is 69 from Wa'anai and Eva Beach half an hour. Over to you. Tasia, thank you. Time now 549 and a 16-year-old waking up $3 million richer this morning after winning the first ever Fortnite World Championship. Hey, not, not a bad haul there. And Janae Norman explains how the popular online video game is making history. Hoisting a massive golden goblet in the air. This morning, 16-year-old Kyle Buga Giersdorf is waking up $3 million richer after being named to the first ever Fortnite World Cup champion. How do you feel right now? Uh, and words can't even explain it right now. I'm just so happy. Everything I've done, the grind, it's all paid off. The Pennsylvania teen beating over 40 million competitors from around the world to play a six-game series on the World Cup stage in front of thousands of excited fans at a sold-out Arthur Ashe Stadium in New York. Down, down to Winning global bragging rights in that life-changing solo player grand prize, the largest payout in esports history. Give it up one more time, your champion of the world! Buga's mom says her son has been playing video games since he was three years old and currently plays Fortnite between eight and ten hours a day. When I started playing, my family was kind of, they weren't too sure about it, but what I told them is that eventually it'd pay off. Pretty much it did. So what's he going to do with his winnings? I think I'm going to save it, put it towards my future, and then probably just buy a new desk or something like that. Three million for a new desk. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, good Not bad. <laughs> and that was Janae Norman reporting. Well, Walmart and Nordstrom trying out new stores where customers cannot shop. A Walmart pickup point just opened up outside of Chicago. Not only do customers not go inside, you don't even have to get out of your car either. Instead, an employee just comes out and loads whatever items you already ordered into your car. It's similar to Nordstrom Local. Now, these types of stores let retailers reach consumers who don't uh, want to wait for home delivery. And maybe you live in an area where building brick, large brick and mortars uh, is expensive. So making things easier. That's good. Uh, today is National Chicken Wing Day. And right here, Molly Schuler eating 181 181 Applebee's wings. Now she's helping a Texas Applebee's franchise kick off an all-you-can-eat chicken wing campaign. And she's the world's number one ranked female competitive eater. 
and world record holder for downing chicken wings. And eating a lot is her full-time job. Someone at work had dared me that I couldn't eat this five-pound burger. They pushed me, and it really snowballed into this great thing where I was just doing challenges, but then the challenges grew to contests, and that grew to career. So now I'm just eating for a living across the country. And Schuler is a mother of four. She only weighs 127 pounds. By the way, that chicken wing promo only in select Applebee's stores in Texas. <laughs> I, I love these uh, holidays. It feels like it was just last week we were celebrating National Chicken Finger Day. Mm -hmm. We had some raisin canes. Now it's uh, a chance to get some wings. I love these uh, excuses for food. Excuses are for food are always a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right, we'll tie now. 552 still to come on Good Morning Hawaii. Disney takeover at the box office. That's right. The latest weekend numbers on the company's three international hits. You're watching Good Morning Hawaii. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Sponsored by Levitt, Yamane, and Soldner, Hawaii's personal injury law firm. It was still dark. I had my um, hazard lights on. One careless driver changed Val Tua's life forever. He hit me from behind, and I got pinned in between uh, his car and my tow truck. I tried to get up, but my legs were broken already. They um, amputated the first time below knee, but the infection was still bad so they had to go higher the only thing that gave me going was i wanted to see my unborn son during his hospital stay val called levitt yamane and soldner so what i tried to do was give val encouragement give him hope lucky we found john yamane and some um, some other good people to help us if you need help levitt yamane and soldner is here lyslaw.com I just wanted to tell everybody that's driving, just slow down, move over for the tow operators, give them room, let them um, take you home safely. Card reward, miles or cash? Give me the cash. Cash. Definitely cash. Miles expire. Cash doesn't. 2% cash back on purchases or mostly 1%? Um, 2%. 2%. Is this a trick question? Then there's unlimited rewards or lots of restrictions. I'll take unlimited. Unlimited? Unlimited all the way. Unlimited. Get the new 2% unlimited cashback card. That's 2% on purchases everywhere, every time. From American Savings Bank. Real life, real answers. A new paradigm is coming to Hawaii that is going to change everything. Paradigm waterproof flooring. Waterproof from the top down, this beautiful flooring is ideal for bathrooms, dining rooms, and kitchens. It is easy to clean, will not stain from spills or swell when exposed to liquids, and comes with a limited lifetime warranty for your home. Available at Homeowners Design Center. We put it all together. Hawaii small businesses work hard for their customers. Chocolea is a gourmet chocolate company in Manoa. They specialize in creating dark chocolate truffles and other treats. In the heart of Ia lies Sumida Farms. This family farm has existed since 1928 through determination and hard work. Aloha Dry Cleaners and Laundry has operated for over 20 years. With three locations, they are proud to service Oahu. As Small Business Lender of the Year, CPB supports local businesses and all they do for our economy. It's another way Central Pacific Bank is going beyond for you. This is Good Morning Hawaii. Welcome back to Good Morning Hawaii. Time now is 5.55. Yeah, and if you're just waking up, maybe heading out the door, want to help you out. We want to get over to weather and traffic right now with Tasia. How's it looking out there on the roads? Just waking up, lucky guys. If you're coming out from the west side, may have some slowdowns. Why and I Middle School, this is on Farrington Highway, your main stretch. No alternates there. We do have reports of an accident. HPD has just confirmed the right lane eastbound direction. That is blocked due to the accident. So just a heads up, pretty slow going traffic in that area. Also, tree trimming work today. This is on Farrington Highway westbound between Old Fort Weaver Road and Kualakai Parkway, 8.30 to 3 o'clock. We now have HPD assisting that stalled vehicle after manager's drive. Some of that slowdowns at the H1H2 merge that continue through Waimalu. It does clear up just a bit throughout Ka'ahumanu. Now, here's a look at your Monday forecast.
Surf for today, east to 2 to 4, 1 to 3 for the south and flat to 2 for the west and north. We do have calm conditions and we will see some sea breeze patterns actually looking pretty good. We'll get you an update with those tropical developments in the East Pacific right after this. Personal injury is what we do. We're going to take care of everything. Our promise to you is that we'll be in the recovery with you. Most things in life should be easy. And the best things in life come free. And for everything else, it's about finding the right financial provider. One that cares for your needs. Pearl Hawaii Federal Credit Union. Upgrade you. Up for anything? Nissan is. And Nissan SUVs have advanced tech. 